everybody Ann here, just sitting here on my porch, having my coffee with all of you. It is a beautiful, beautiful sunny morning. In fact, the sun is just kind of like beating down on my face. It's going to get pretty hot today, but I think it's going to be a pretty day. Lots of sun, no rain. So yeah, I'm going to have to water the plants again. I just let the chickens out and they didn't elope this time. And yesterday, Mr. Lucas and Seth and... Um, Seth's wife's family were here and they were out shooting watermelons in their yard so I picked up a few of the extra watermelons and uh, let the chickens eat them in the air over there pecking away at them right now. So, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I've got a multiple projects. I've got so many things to do. I've got the inside of the tiny house, outside of the tiny house, things to do. Don't even know where to start, but the first thing I wanted to show you guys is something about my truck. You know how I had talked about it making sounds? Well, I'm going to show you where it's at and what it sounds like. So maybe if you know something, you can kind of give me an idea of what your thoughts are. All right, let me show you that real quick. Okay, you guys, I just started the truck up, and it did start, but I'm going to show you right where the sound is coming from. You see that little round thing that's going round and round and round? That's where it's coming from. It'll go away after a while. But, yep, that's what it sounds like. Can you hear that? So tell me what that is. Sometimes the best laid plans get totally changed, and so today, my day, has totally changed. I'm working on a project. It is for a very special someone, and I'm hoping that this very special someone won't see this video. So I am going to ask Mrs. Lucas, Seth, Lena, everybody in Mr. Lucas' family to not let him watch this video. I know that he just doesn't watch my videos unless you guys show them to him, so... Please don't show him this video because this is a surprise in part for him. Let me turn my camera around to show you what I've been working on. See that? It is a chicken brooder. Yes, I've built up the sides this time so I don't get that stuff all over my carpeting. Um, I'm not going to bring the other one in because I really just don't think I need it for the number that I'm going to be getting. This is just a starter brooder and I have constructed a box and I've got that over the top of it. Um, instead of, uh, you know, changing the size of the box in accordance with the size of the chickens, I have just put kind of a taller box down there, and I have built up the floor with cardboard so that the baby chicks will be closer up to the heat thingy. Um, that's going to be part of a uh, feeder that I'm going to put in. I've put in a little water thing over there, and I've just turned a cap upside down instead of the rocks. Um, because the rocks were just too hard to clean. With that in it, they can't drown. And I've got a little bedding in it, and there's some, some newspaper on the bottom of it as well. And yep, there's a the little heat lamp thingy, so I figured I better do this now while it's still super warm, while the chicks are so young, so that during the day I won't have to keep this on all day long. Even if I did, it doesn't use hardly any um, electricity, so it totally works. The only thing I need to do is drill a few more holes in the side, just cut them out so that they can get better ventilation, and then this goes over the top like this. It's going to be plenty of room. I know someone who has, well, a tractor supply company, who has some chickens, some baby chickens of the kind that would be good to go with Mr. Lucas' big old Rhode Island Red Rooster, so I'm going to go pick up for today, if I can, if I can, I hope so, I don't know. Oh, in case you were wondering too, um, for the light. Now, I've got this solar light that I found worked better than anything else for the light in the, in the little chicken brooder, and it's just a solar light. I just put it on top so that during the day they can have plenty of light down there because here, let me turn this around and show you, it's not very bright down there. See that? Even during the day, it doesn't get very bright down here. So if I put this down there and I just, uh, you know, shine it down like that, it makes it so much brighter. It's not easy to see right now. But trust me, it's much, much better lighted down there when I've got this little thing on it and it's free energy. So And it doesn't provide any heat, but it's just going to be down there uh, just to give them a little bit of extra light during the day. 
I am so excited about this project, you guys. You have no idea. Mr. Lucas has been so kind to me. His whole family has been so kind to me. So if I can raise up a couple hens for his big, beautiful Rhode Island red rooster, I think they call him cockadoo. I'm not sure. He's just magnificent, and Mr. Lucas tells a wonderful story about how he came upon this rooster. He basically saved its life, and so maybe someday I'll let him tell you the whole story about his, his rooster, Mr. Cockadoo. But I figure it's good to do this now while it's still warm. We've got some 90-degree 90 90 degree days coming up, and so during the day I won't have to even turn on that that heat lamp thing because it gets so warm inside the cabin so it's now or never you know I mean well I could do it through through the winter but I figure um, by the time it just starts getting cold they'll have their feathers I'll keep them in here until they're ready and then yes I'm gonna have to slowly introduce them to my leghorns because you know there may be some fighting and whatnot so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do that you know um, a little bit at a time maybe section off a part of the coop or something for them until that they can get used to being around the other chickens and the chickens can get used to them. Um, I figure, you know, he, I, I can keep two and he can keep two. If he wants three, he can have three. I don't know. Um, he could have all four of them if he wants, but they're not going to be hard to raise inside here. So what I'm going to do is this little brooder that I've got right now, it's a little small. Um, eventually I'm going to have to expand that uh, a little bit, you know, further out when they get bigger. But right now that little box that uh, Miss Donna B got for me that's part of that other chicken coop, and I'm going to leave that other one inside, um, is, is just perfect for it. I mean, it's got a little lid on it. I just need to provide for a little bit more ventilation, and I think they'll be fine. So I got to get dressed, and I got to go to Tractor Supply Company and make sure they still have the kind of chickens that I want. I called them earlier this morning, and they did. They've got some that aren't Rhode Island red, but they get their red something. Um, but they get as, um, as big as Rhode Island reds, and he needs some bigger chickens. The leghorns aren't going to work for him because they're just too small for his big, beautiful rooster. You guys have got to see this rooster. So I'm going to head over there in a few minutes, and I think what I'm going to do is just, I will I will show the chickens to you guys tomorrow if I'm able to get them. Just say some prayers, say some prayers that I'm able to get them, and well, you know what? Your prayers aren't going to work because by the time this video publishes, I will probably already have the chickens, hopefully, keeping my fingers crossed, but I figure this might be a nice, I don't know, maybe around Christmas time? Maybe a Christmas present? I don't know. So, again, Mr. Lucas' family, please don't tell him. This has to be a surprise. I want him to be surprised. And I am just really hoping and praying this is going to work out because I tell you what, that man has done so, so much for me from day one. Do you guys remember when I was having the gravel delivered and he didn't know me from Adam? He went over to his shed and just pulled out a shovel and started shoveling gravel for this woman he doesn't know. I mean, he just saw what needed to be done and he went and did it. He's killed a snake for me. In fact, in fact, that John Blade that he used, he's lent it to me. It's up on my porch, and I was over talking to him yesterday, and he asked me, well, have you uh, have you used the John Blade back? Uh, uh, John Blade yet, excuse me. Um, and I said, no, not yet. I've just been blah, blah. And he's like, oh, bring it back over. So I need to get going on cutting down some more weeds with that big old blade he sent me because it's going to work really great. So, whew. I'm talking a mile a minute. I'm just really excited. Oh, and um, many of you have been mentioning that you're concerned about me in this cabin without the insulation being done. Yes, I, I hear that. It's definitely in the works, very near future, and I believe I've got someone who's going to be able to help me do it that lives close by. And so the, the walls, I mean, it's over halfway insulated already. So the walls... It's not going to be, they're not going to be too much of a problem. The real help that I need is the roof. Um, and then I've got a plan for the wood burning stove too, to install it where I won't have to ruin my walls and whatnot. So, um, I don't know, I'm just going to try it out. I need some more supplies. I need some, some more pipes, some elbow pipes. I need a double wall pipe to go through the wall. Not, well, you'll see. You'll see how I'm going to do it. Um, hopefully it'll work out. And just a couple more paychecks, and I'm going to have the things that I need to finish the inside of this cabin. And I'm just getting excited. As as the days start to get kind of cooler now, we've got, you know, a couple more weeks of really hot weather. So um, 
it's gonna you know slow me down a little bit but it's gonna get done so don't don't worry you guys it's going to get done before it gets too terribly cold um, really it doesn't start getting what I consider cold um, until mid to late November uh, I was in this cabin starting last February and it was cold but it was not too bad at all and I didn't have a wood burning stove and I had zero insulation so um, I made it through okay but just for aesthetics even I I just want to get it done I want it to look wonderful so that's all gonna happen very soon too um, but I, I need to stop blabbing I need to get going I need to go over to Tractor Supply Company make sure they have what I need and so that's what I'm gonna do so that's all I got for you guys see you in the next video for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.